Okay, today I'm going to try to show you guys how to do uh, wheatgrass, grow wheatgrass, soil, soilless. So, I got this tray and I got a little, I cut like maybe two or three pieces of uh, napkin paper. Um, I'm going to water it a little bit. My sprouted uh, wheatgrass in my cool container. It's been sprouting for about two, three days now. I, I think it's best to sprout it for two or three days. It's faster and um, you get a good result. My first batch I did is still growing after almost three weeks. It's only about four inches while the ones that I've I sprouted a couple days, those are growing almost the same height. So I think it's best to sprout your wheatgrass for a few days in a jar. I don't want to waste a single one. Just, just move it around. I think a tray like this is much easier to cut. So I'm going to try to find more trays like this. They're pretty expensive. Try to do it evenly. I don't want to overlap them too much. Uh, but I like it to be nice and thick. I think this one's going to turn out really well. So let's just water it. This is how I do it, but other people do it differently. Everybody has their own way. Whatever works for you. And then just let it soak. Soak up the water. This should be done about 8 to 10 days. They'll soak up this water in no time. So I like to give it a little more. And I pre soaked some paper, kind of. Well, I guess I soaked it too much. Oh well. So it, so it won't receive any sunlight. They grow pretty fast when they don't see sunlight for some reason. And just remember to water it every day. And that's about it. Um, Tune in for when I uh, harvest uh, the wheatgrass and juice it for you guys. And it'll be my first shot I've ever taken. So tune in. Thanks. Take care. Bye.